Here we have an anvil that is hanging from a rope between two poles. The question is, what is the distance between the two poles? Guess between A, B or C or try for yourself. The total distance the anvil hangs is shown by this red line. We know the distance from the ground to the top of the anvil, which is 35. So to get the length in red, we subtract 35 from 50, and that is 15 meters. Since some of the angles are known, we can make a right angle triangle like so, shown in green. Because this figure is symmetrical, we can reflect this triangle to the right hand side. We already have one side of the triangle, which is 15 meters. Now we need to find this angle. This angle will be 90 degrees minus 35 degrees because it's a complementary angle. Thus, the angle will be 55 degrees. Let's call this side X, which is half of the distance between the two poles. Let's move this triangle aside and see what trigonometry function we're going to use. Visit my YouTube channel to learn more about the basic trigonometry functions. O means opposite, H means hypotenuse, and A means adjacent. Now we have the opposite side of the 55 degree angle, and we have the adjacent side of the same angle. So we are going to use the tan function, and not the other two, because we don't have the hypotenuse. Tan is opposite over adjacent. The opposite side is 15. The adjacent side we can call x, and the angle is 55 degrees. Now we must solve for x. Multiply both sides by x, then divide both sides by tan of 55. We have isolated x. Type 15 over tan 55 into your calculator, and your answer for x will be 10.5031 meters. Round it off to four decimals. We go back to the question, what is the distance between the two poles? That will simply be 2 times this side length, so 2x. 2 times 10.5031 is 21.01, rounded off to 2 decimals. And there you have your distance. So if you guessed C, you are correct.